Here is Coach Moore's speech at the 2022 luncheon held by the Hall of Fame for Maslin versus McKinley Week. Thank you to Stark Media for the footage. First of all, thank you to the Pro Football Hall of Fame Luncheon Club for allowing me to come and speak about our football program. <clears throat> thank you to Mayor Kathy Catazero Perry, Maslin City Schools Superintendent Paul Salvino, and the Maslin Tiger Football Booster Club for their support throughout our season. Most of all, thank you to my beautiful wife, Becca, for all the support, especially during this special week. Our varsity football team is currently seven and one. We have played a rugged schedule with both state and national powers. We took one on the chin in our first, in our week one matchup against Cincinnati Bowler. But I was pleased with the effort of our kids we just needed to limit the self-inflicted wounds. We needed to be more disciplined. The Tigers responded by winning the next three to bring us to our matchup with undefeated and number one ranked St. Edward. In an instant classic, the Tigers forced a late fumble and scored the go-ahead touchdown with less than a minute to go in the game. As good as that one felt, that is not what it means to be a Tiger. Being a Tiger is being able to come back the very next week and do it again. Handle success and failure. I was much more proud of our team for coming back the next two weeks and defeating state-ranked and undefeated Austin Town Fitch and the number one team in the state of Delaware, Middletown. That is being a tiger. That is walking the war path. The war path is tenacious discipline at all costs. In a world today where comfort is king and feelings matter more than facts, the tigers are a throwback unit built on discipline and toughness. I love the term warrior poet. It is a concept that is all but lost today. People want to put you into one category or another. A plus student is scholar. Football player, meathead. Not us, not the Tigers. We will not be defined by public perception, by the mayor of the city of Canton, <laughs> or the media, including our own local media. No matter what mud they throw at us. I believe that it's the dichotomy of the term warrior poet that draws me to it. The phrase warrior poet refers to the men of antiquity who were trained both in the art of war and the art of philosophy. It's very similar to the phrase scholar athlete. We have 71 players on our varsity roster. And it is my duty and my charge to develop each one of them into scholar athletes, <clears throat> warrior poets. Our first quarter ended last Friday and I believe that we will be very close to our program goal of a 3.5 team GPA. When I set that goal, <clears throat> when I set that goal several years ago, I'll be honest, I didn't know if I really even thought that it was attainable. I can say without a doubt that we are within striking distance. As of Saturday, we currently have just three Fs, and 13 Ds on our entire roster of 71 young men. Warrior poets, warrior poets, discipline. I have a theory, a strong theory, that grades measure very little about your actual intelligence. What grades actually measure is your self-discipline. Can you do the things that have to be done 
when they have to be done and how they have to be done, even and especially when it's not what you want to do. You cannot be a great student without discipline. You cannot be a great football player without discipline. I've been telling our guys this for eight years. If you want to be a great team, improve your GPA. And that is played true. Our best teams on the field have also been our best teams in the classroom. And if you don't have the self-discipline to make it happen, then we're going to make that happen for you. And that leads me to my final point. The Blarney Stone. On the hill in the northwest corner of Paul Brown Tiger Stadium sits a stone marker. <clears throat> and on it is a faded, bent metal sign that says Blarney Stone, here to make you a champion, established 1948. Outdated, old school, but the essence of what this program is built on. In front of that stone leading from the remnants of the stadium track is a well-worn path leading up the hill to the Blarney Stone. I can't take credit for placing the stone where it sits on that hill, but I admire the person who did because there is no easy path to discipline. Discipline is, in fact, taking the uphill path. And if our boys can't figure that out on their own, we, then we will teach them. Some of them many, many times. I can't take credit for the stone on the hill, but I can't take credit for the war path that lays at its feet. When you come to visit us on Saturday, be sure to walk over to the northwest side of the stadium and check out our war path. It's the path to a 7-1 record. It's the path to a 3.5 team GPA. And it's the path to success decades after the final game of this football season has been played. And that is the goal. Thank you. Go Tigers.